Well, folks, today we have a bit of sad, but, you know, probably bittersweet news in the end, dealing with the voice of Mario and really the, you know, future culture at Nintendo, I suppose, or I, at least the ending of an era. Before I jump in, just quick reminder that we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring a -ling that ding -a -ling so you get notified of all of our future videos, but... Let's just not waste any more time. We're going to jump right into this tweet that was put out by Nintendo of America and all of Nintendo's social media accounts because this is a monumental shift at Nintendo. So we said we have a message for fans of the Mushroom Kingdom. Please take a look. Charles Martinet has been the original voice of Mario in Nintendo games for a long time, as far back as Super Mario 64. Charles is now moving into the brand new role of Mario Ambassador. With this transition... He will be stepping back from recording character voices for our games, but he'll continue to travel the world sharing the joy of Mario and interacting with you all. It has been an honor working with Charles to help bring Mario to life for so many years, and we want to thank and celebrate him. Please keep an eye out for a special video message from Shigeru Miyamoto and Charles himself, which we will post at a future date, which is really a nice thing to see. Uh, Charles Martinet and Miyamoto get together for this. Now, obviously, him no longer recording voice lines doesn't mean that we're never going to hear Charles in a future game. They've been reusing a lot of his voice lines over the last decade, only coming in to record new lines here and there. Well, my, our good friend of the channel, Paul Gale Networks, on here mentioning you know some stuff he's he's met. Charles personally and says so Charles Martinet is truly a one of a kind it's been a pleasure hearing him voice Mario Luigi and more for three decades from when we first met in 2002 it's been nothing but memorable wonderful memories thank you here's to your new role and some people might think that maybe Nintendo shoved him out the door I, I don't know that that's necessarily the case but what we do know is Charles Martinet is senior on social media looking pretty excited about his new role saying my new adventure begins you all are number one in my Hard, obviously, uh, referencing a famous Wario line. I, or Wario, I don't know. It's one of the two. Anyways, he's voiced a lot of of, of Nintendo characters over the years. And it, it's truly the end of an era. I, I think some of us could see the end of this era coming. For starters, Charles Martin isn't young. He's been doing this a long time. And it was always inevitable that his voice was going to end up being replaced for Mario. Now, is it likely who's ever doing, who's going to be recording new lines in the future, is going to try to mimic what Charles Martinet set up? Probably, because that's what happens. Voice, voices have changed in a number of key roles over the years. As an example, the voice of Kermit is not the original voice actor, right? But the people who voice Kermit today, Kermit the Frog, mimic the original voice, so you can't really tell the difference. So I do think that we're, we're going to see that sort of be the direction. So it still might sound like Charles, but not. And this also might be put out there because Super Mario Bros. Wonder is coming out later this year, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder has voice acting in it, and while we haven't really heard the Mario characters talk yet, we've only heard them, the flowers and the bells or whatever talk, I do think that the characters might talk a bit, and with them talking a bit, the voice might sound a little different, and Nintendo wants to get ahead of that because it's probably somebody else voicing the characters. Now, obviously, nobody can replace Charles Martinet outright the pure joy he brought to the role was infectious and anyone who ever met him at various you know conferences and cons would know that Charles Martinet he just brightens the room when he walks in so you're never going to be able to replace the true love of voicing uh, these characters that Charles Martinet brought but you can still you know honor him by doing your best to mimic or maybe they decide to take Mario and his friends in a new direction with the voices and that's obviously up to Mario we saw them do a new direction with the Mario movie where they had Charles Martinet in there voicing his father but you know Mario was voiced by Chris Pratt and it was just a very different direction for all of the Mario characters and maybe Nintendo is deciding it's time to get a new voice so maybe Mario is going to end up sounding different moving forward because maybe they want Mario to talk more that could be something as well maybe Mario is going to start having full voice acting at some point maybe we get a sequel to Mario RPG someday and it's full voice acting and yeah maybe Martinet wasn't the best person for that role I don't know but I am both saddened today but also happy to watch one of the greats basically ride off into the sunset. They're not firing Charles Martinet, to be clear. 
that he is moving into a new role as basically a brand ambassador. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much what Shigeru Miyamoto does. Shigeru Miyamoto essentially runs around and is just a marketing arm for Nintendo. Now, obviously, Shigeru Miyamoto is a bit of a bigger name than Charles Martinet, but a huge chunk of the Nintendo fan base knows who Charles is, will recognize him, and he's just going to be keep doing what he's been doing for the most part, I feel, and that's traveling over, around to various conferences and various Nintendo events. He'll do the voice here and there, you know, but he'll, he, he's just there to really advertise Nintendo and bring a smile to people's faces, and that's really what Shigeru Miyamoto does a lot. Now, I don't want to diminished Shigeru Miyamoto. He was directly involved in Pikmin 4's development. He also was directly involved in the making of the Mario movie. So obviously Shigeru Miyamoto still does more than just, you know, being a brand ambassador, but it's what a majority of his day to day is, right? He, he's, he's there to be a marketing, you know, arm for Nintendo. And I look, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and, and, you know, beat around the bush. I'm going to miss the guy. I know he's not dead or anything and, and, and probably going to be around for many, many years to come. And I'll still hear him do his wahoos and all this at various events. I just, you know, it, it's one of those things that this guy has been voicing Mario since my childhood. And th there's something about the voice of Mario himself no longer being the voice of Mario that it, it, it just kind of tugs at the heartstrings a little bit. I have a really big appreciation for voice actors in general, and Charles Martinet was truly one of a kind. I mean, to be hired full-time on a lifetime contract by Nintendo, that's what he had, is, is insane. That just doesn't happen to voice actors, but that's how much Nintendo valued his contributions to Mario, and I just... I'm forever going to be grateful to some of the, you know, oral bliss memories that he provided to me through all of the various characters that he voiced. Now, guys, you know, I, I just I just have to say thank you, Charles, for everything you've done. Uh, maybe we can reach out to you and try to get you to come on the podcast sometime and uh, share some of your fondest memories of voicing Mario over the years or voicing any of the characters and other games that you've also voiced them in. And I, I got to say, I, I hope Nintendo announces who the new voice is at some point. Maybe it's going to be multiple people voicing these characters. We're not going to have like the same person voice, you know, Wario, Waluigi, and Mario. Maybe it'll be other people along the way. I don't know. But I hope that Nintendo at least gives attention to the new voice actors. And I hope that as fans, if Nintendo does eventually give attention to these new voice actors for the role, that we treat them with respect. These voice actors are not the reason Charles Martinet has essentially been, you know, retired. It's he's getting older and he obviously agreed to this change and this is what's going to happen moving forward. So I hope that we give the same respect we give Charles, you know, to these new new voice actors. I know they're going to have to earn our respect through their work, but I, I just want to make sure that we're being fair and not being overly critical of it not sounding like Charles because at some point, when they do eventually stop using Charles's lines and start re-recording everything, you know, you're going to have to get used to him maybe not sounding quite the same. And that's okay. Life is full of change. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.